Hello everyone, welcome to Liverable. I'm behind the wheel of the all new Toyota Hilux, the 2.8 GD6. And this is the top of the line model with the automatic transmission and the electric armadillo at the back along, along with a JBL sound system. If I don't know more, please hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to receive notifications when I make a new upload. Let's get on with this video. This top of the line Hilux comes with a 2.8 litre diesel engine, it's a 4 cylinder. It produces a anti-yota Hilux like 150 kilowatt and 500 newton meters of torque. The result? 100, 110, 120, very un Hilux like. The power is a welcome addition to the Hilux and it is by time. Unfortunately, for the power, this fantastic looks that this Bucky has, you're going to pay a price. And that price, as I drive this Bucky here, is 868,100 Rand. To put it into perspective, the Ford Ranger Wildtrak with the automatic gearbox comes in at 778,000 Rand, just over 778,000 Rand. So this Hilux, needs to be really good i kind of had a bit of a problem when i saw the price i did mention it on my facebook and people were like no it's fine yes we don't care about the price all we know is that this bucky is going to hold value and it's going to be extremely reliable for years to come so we're more than happy to pay the premium price that Toyota is asking for this bucky a bit more information there the ford ranger has seven kilowatt more taking it to 157 kilowatt the same torque and the, high, the, the, the Ranger also has a 10-speed transmission, Ford's famous 10-speed that really works wonders with that engine. The Hilux I'm driving here has a 6-speed automatic transmission. I, I can tell you guys this now, before you go further with this video, this is my favorite Bucky of all time. I, am, I enjoy driving this thing. I want it more than any other car right now. Not as much as a VW Touareg, but as in, in Bucky form, I'd love to buy this for my dad one day when I can make a lot of money. Because this is, this more than meets my expectation. Toyota refreshed the Hilux and brought it up to 2021, the year that we're in now. And as I've seen in the comments on my Facebook post, you guys love what this thing looks like. And I don't disagree. I think it looks fantastic. In this, uh, this is the legend kit with this legend setup God damn this Bucky looks stunning. I want a Toyota Hilux Bucky like seriously this thing looks Fantastic from the back even from the back the black accent that goes over the the hoop that goes here at the back of the by the tub God, The rims this the the one finger tailgate that you can just pop open and pop close this Bucky looks fantastic. Then moving to the this performance, moving to the interior here with the Hilux. Toyota still got this hard plastic here with the fake plastic stitching, but where you rest your arm here, it's nice and soft. You've got electric windows right around. The seating position is nice and high. I've actually got to set a bit high for me because I'm not the tallest guy around. The steering wheel is covered in nice leather. The top of the dash is hard plastic with a fake plastic stitching, but the materials in here are really nice. There's leather on the center console here in the middle, which means you can rest your arm on it. And it's a nice distance from the gear lever so that I can be quite comfortable behind the wheel of the Hilux. Next, you have a JBL sound system with six speakers in front, two speakers at the back and a subwoofer. And no distortion. No distortion. 
distortion, no panels, rattling, clean sound. That's got enough volume to keep you happy. Your treffer sal prachtig klink op die radio. That's so racist. <laughs> Can I say that? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> And then controlling the JBL sound system is this 8 inch touchscreen without Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. You've only got Toyota's Smart Link with Mirror Link and stuff like that. Um, I don't know why we don't have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay yet. So I'm really hoping that um, Toyota updates this soon with uh, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Obviously, Bluetooth and usb port and a auxiliary port here in front so with that being said this legend model has an electric armadillo you've got led headlights in front automatic headlights as well and you've also got adaptive cruise control which will keep you safe a distance on the car in front that you can click the button on the steering wheel and choose how far you want the car to follow you in front of you how far you want to follow the car in front of you you can choose that distance you also got lane keeping assist a reverse camera and parking sensors and your typical Hilux things like a rear locking diff tester control the power button and the eco button for your eco mode you also got downhill control so uh, it will keep the car at a steady speed on downhill when you are off-road it's got everything absolutely everything that you can think of this legend Bucky as I am, yeah, I like this thing. Goodness sake, guys, I really love this Bucky. Very good friend of mine, Mr. Simon Stirrup. How's it, bro? How's it going, man? Lovely. I don't know if you guys remember Simon. We did his VW Golf R32 manual years ago. Yeah, yeah I love really. And I think Simon, I think Simon and I have become very good friends over that time, and we literally talk quite often now. And Simon's gone a lot of the time of the year, and I wanted to get his opinion on the new Hilux as a purest perspective because this man is full <laughs> on. Uh, Hilux, like I'm talking, get stuck in mud and that type of stuff uh, off road. Simon, why did you choose Hilux if I may ask? So I think starting out is, uh, so I work overseas and I came, I came back to South Africa to try and start working here and I worked for my mate at this ball company. Mm. So we needed a, obviously a nice strong car, Bucky, for the, to tow the rigs and everything. Mm. Uh, so I mean, obviously his main two options would be Hilux or Ranger. Yeah. And um, I think just Toyota has, I think, a whole kind of thing about them that, you know, they're built for the farm. Not the farm, but, you know, they're built to work. They're yeah, they're reliable. Work, they're workhorses, they're reliable and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, you know, and they, they pull like beasts. Yeah, and I think the other thing, well, what's good what you said there is, this car is coming in, oh, this is a top spec. Yeah. Um, Toyota Hilux with JBL automatic gearbox and the Amatillo at the back, which is electric. Uh, it's coming in at over 850,000 Rand. Yeah, um, quite a steep one. And I've, I've made a Facebook post about this and people don't seem to be bothered. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if you have the money, if you want it, then that's your thing, you know? Like for me, I think personally, I'm more about like, you know, I had that Merc. I've, I've had an expensive car before. Yeah. And for me now, it's kind of like... Sorry guys, so the, the lane keeping assist is shouting at Simon. Yes, I'm gonna turn it off Um So for me personally, I'd rather buy it because like, you know, I'm gonna be out there, I'm gonna be doing all these things, you know. I'm just gonna be getting scratched, this and that. So for me, I'm happy to have like a slightly older one that I yeah. don't mind getting wrecked and stuff. Yeah. But I mean, if you have the money, I don't think you can go wrong with something like this. I fully you know? agree with you. Like, you know how I have my Land Cruise and it's like, yeah. it's, everything's old and Tattered. Know, tattered and it's, it's rough you know? I love that Land Cruiser though Guys, he's got the straight 6.4 litre Land Cruiser <laughs> right? 
with a manual gearbox, tent on the roof, shower, bolt in, yeah. like just the coolest freaking thing around. And it just, I think it, it, it speaks to that, just simply the dependability. Yeah, and there you go. And I mean, but, but like back to the price, I mean, look what you're paying for, you know, this yeah. is pretty, it's pretty luxury, I feel. Maybe it's just because I've spent the last year in that Land Cruiser yeah. and the Mercedes is gone now. So it's like coming into something like this is just, I don't know, I think. Could you see yourself living with this car and could you see yourself paying that price for this car? Because you're in a position to afford this yeah. car. Could you? Would you? I mean, if I didn't have other goals in life that I'm trying to achieve, like financially and mm. things like that, for sure, you know? Mm. I mean, why, why? I mean, I don't have a reason why I wouldn't. I'm yeah. sure it's very capable. Everyone knows that Hilux is, mm. they're extremely capable of road. Sorry um, guys, we just have cyclists again driving in the middle of the bloody road, yeah? I don't know, should I bump this just, one? Yeah. <laughs> you can't, yes. That's gonna make people very angry yeah. in the camera, but okay. Yeah, but it's fine, my dad cycles and we... Uh, so yeah, I mean, I think definitely. At ease. Yeah. For me, this is the best Hilux I think I've ever driven. Yeah. Um, I can't believe that, that Toyota even came up with us because they were kind of behind Ford and it came to the lifestyle yeah, thing. Yeah, for sure. And now they're just purely ahead. Yeah. Like, properly ahead. They're like, their 2012 Hiluxes were like 2012, 2014, that old shape. Yeah. They were like known to be, you know, obviously like I said, the workhorse, but they yeah. were tattoo on the inside. I think yeah. that's where range and people like, you know, who, who live in the city, they want to own a Bucky. Yeah. You know, they want to be comfortable and like look. Yeah. kind of show off you know yeah they look good on the inside yeah and now i think they really come back and, and let's be honest here this thing looks freaking fantastic on, yeah, the, outside. on the outside as well i was Goodness looking at now and sake. just chilling under the tree yeah there. and off-road also i mean this thing seems to <laughs> 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 yeah, overall, this thing is unstoppable. Um, I had the opportunity to take this thing on that hill there in, um, what's the name, in Durbanville? Yeah. You're on top of the off road course? A dirt one. I've yeah. never been there. Bro, so difficult. Uh, this car stops on the on the incline, right? Yeah. Like, I'm talking proper incline, mid incline. Just put your foot on the throttle because of the amount of power it's got. It just, it just pumps up. all the way up the hill. Even here. in high range. Even, even in, in high range. range. Sure. And I mean, you've got um, downhill, um, assist. downhill assist, you've got active rear, locking the foot at the back, uh, like just everything. I think the automatic also really helps. I know for like this, especially if you're in the dunes, if you're in the sand. Yeah. But I've realized I've also got a, a mate, he's got the, the V6, I like to think it's a 2014. Yeah. And with, with it being automatic, how it just changes gear and you don't get that lag. So yes. if, you really, if you're in the dunes and stuff, I think the automatic really helps you stay on top of the sand. It does. Instead of when you put in the clutch and you get that fucking... Yeah, Rocking. Yeah, and so the car's digging. Language. No, it's fine. Yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. Simon swears a lot. We both swear a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was told to wash my mouth this morning. So I can't. <laughs> didn't say that. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think... Uh, Let me get that photo, I mean, I'm going to ask him to send me that photo of him stuck in the water, he's forever. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the cruiser. Right? Yeah, in the yeah, cruiser. Yeah, yeah, send okay. it to me. <laughs> At least I got towed out by, oh sorry, I got towed out by a Hilux. Like, so Another so Ranger? Me. Yeah, not a Ranger. <laughs> Where's that sip hat of yours? Show them your hat. You may find on my hat, because it said Ranger on... Uh, it says Ranger. And I like Ford, no? I love yeah, the Ford yeah, Ranger. Yeah. Always like, having a battle, a shouting match <laughs> at each other, always swearing very rude words at each other about If you guys are see our chats, you'll be... <laughs> anyway, thanks so much. Toyota Hilux will be simple. If you are in the financial position to afford this Hilux, you are incredibly lucky. I've been seeing quite a few of them here in Paul where I live and they're all over the place here. So which means that people are really complaining about the price. Any downsides with the Hilux? No. I really can't think of anything besides the high asking price, which a lot of people are okay with, which I'm still a bit on the fence about. <laughs> mm.
No, it's as far as I'm concerned, the best Bucky I've ever driven. I even like the way it looks. I think it looks phenomenal. <laughs> I even think this engine with <laughs> it's just pulling. It's just pulling, and yeah, that was, yeah, 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 yeah. Do I recommend the Toyota Hilux at its asking price? I definitely do. I think this is the Bucky to be in in 2020, 2021. I also think that this is by far and away the best Toyota Hilux I think I've driven. Toyota Hilux prior to this was a bit, although they were reliable, they were lackluster in terms of features for the price that the Toyota was asking for them. I find it fascinating now that Toyota is making the Corolla, the Yaris, they brought the GR Yaris out, which I'm looking so forward to drive. Um, I think it's going to be a phenomenal car. I'm just so proud of Toyota from someone who really never liked Toyota in the past because of what they offered and the value of a Toyota, just reliability and that was it. I'm really proud and I can truly say that I'm officially now a Toyota guy. I, I get where Toyota is taking their brand and I'm so proud to see that they've learned and they've adapted to what consumers want. Um, <laughs> I also really hope that Nissan and Honda follow suit and sees what Toyota is doing and brings their cars up to today's standards and get us cars that are fun and engaging again like they did in the past. In the past, Toyota, Nissan and Honda for tooth and nail. And now, that I mean, you don't even see those other two companies anymore. Toyota, well done and congratulations for turning your company around into this company that we are all seeing today. I'm super proud, super, super proud. Thank you all so much for watching my video of the Toyota Hilux. And if you have a Hilux or have owned a Hilux, please comment down below and let me know why you love your Hilux. And if you're going to consider buying the new Toyota Hilux or if you are a Ford Ranger guy and you swear by your Ford Rangers or your Mitsubishi Triton or your Isuzu. I can't tell you I have been in the Isuzu X Rider last week? No. No, 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 no. It, it's cheap, but not as a lifestyle bucky. Probably reliable too. This is just on another league of class. Thumbs up, subscribe, be free, be you, liberable, out.